Hi, I'm Dr. Ron Miller of Pursuit Physical Therapy, and today we're going to go over what to do if your lateral epicondylitis doesn't respond to a cortisone injection. So we had a really interesting case. We had a patient come in with lateral elbow pain. Now, lateral epicondylitis is also called tennis elbow. It's because with a tennis game, with a backhand, you're using your wrist extensors and it causes pain here. So tennis elbow or lateral epicondylitis, whatever you want to call it. Um, we had a patient come in, they had it for like six months, um, and they tried some stretches and it didn't work. And they went to get a cortisone injection, which is standard treatment for it, and it didn't work again, and she didn't know what to do. So we're going to go over her case and kind of show you things that you can do and solve on the root cause of your elbow pain that will get you results. So um, normally an injection works, or at least gets a 50% reduction of pain, but for her, it didn't work at all. And this is something that you have to learn is that if you have pain here and you try a treatment and it doesn't make a change at all, that may not be the root cause of your pain. So as I was doing the evaluation, she obviously consulted with us, wanted to get our opinion on what is causing her lateral elbow pain. When I did a thorough eval, I saw that she was lacking a lot of internal rotation in her shoulder and her work required her to do a lot of work up here. So if she's lacking internal rotation in her shoulder, it was causing too much torque and it was forcing her to use her wrist extensor muscles too much, causing her lateral epicondylitis. Meaning if you just treat here, but you don't fix this problem, her epicondylitis or her elbow pain will always come back. So the combination of me treating her shoulder and doing the treatment here led her to get pain-free, significant relief in a matter of two weeks where, where she could finally shake someone's hand. And I think in four weeks, she was pain-free, good to go, and she didn't have any symptoms. So the main point here is um, regarding lateral epicondylitis. You know, it's okay that if an injection doesn't show any change to your pain, that there's still hope there's still an answer, you know, it's not normal to be in pain. There's an underlying root cause that's causing everyone's pain. We just have to solve it. So regarding elbow pain, if you fail a corticosteroid injection, um, there's an underlying risk factor or root cause that's still on the table that you have to solve. It could be a wrist problem, it could be another elbow problem, or even a shoulder problem that's causing the lateral elbow pain. And then when, or when you solve that, then you'll start getting results and you'll get some pain relief and get the results that you actually want. So you don't have to get upset. Yes, we do want the injections to actually help out. But if you have lateral epicondylitis or tennis elbow and you don't respond to your injection, definitely look into more thorough treatments. Look at the wrist or the actual shoulder in combination with the elbow treatment and then you'll get the results you want and hopefully get to a point where you're pain free. So if you have any questions or concerns about our treatment approach, you can visit PursuitTherapy.com. If you have any questions about scheduling an evaluation, you can call us today at 407-494-8835 and thank you for tuning in.